Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. Bill. Get him, Bill. Get him, Bill. Bill. Watch out. Watch out. Get him, Bill. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, man, I'm about to get that. You're canceled, buddy. <laughs> I'm like, what? What are you canceled for? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I got oh, my niggas cooking in here. They going crazy. Here. Going crazy. Here. They're going crazy. They're going crazy. They're going stupid. Let me find out you smoking that booth, mom. It's going to be over for you. I'll get this shit right back. I don't know what you got going on. He's out. That ass shit. It's crazy, bro. It feel good out here. It's raining and shit, bro. Feel good. Y'all see a nigga hairy. Get my shit messed up. My shit cool. He said, me find out she's smoking that booth. It's over. You know, some people actually get hired for booth. I don't know how. Somebody told you that? Nah, nigga. It's like a real thing. You know, people that actually don't smoke weed? Mm -hmm. They get hired for booth. I ain't gonna put it in there that she smoked because I gotta blur it out. Too much editing and shit. Heard that shit? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what they got going on over there. Either. <laughs> Did light didn't just strike? These lights just turn on out of nowhere. Lights went in there. Oh, I thought the lights went out. Somebody uh, turned the living room lights off like heavy as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Take all y'all niggas bitches, bro. They all gonna come to me. I don't want half of y'all niggas bitches. I don't get no good looking bitches. Sorry. You're done. <laughs> Commercial break. Join no more gang. Like, what's up, man? Come join the gods. Can subscribe up right now, bro. Like, half of y'all not subscribe up. Like, what's up? You love the videos? Y'all clicking on the videos? Y'all love the videos? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Enjoy your own work game. Go ahead and hit that motherfucker. Let's go. Thank you, Mr. Armani Cut, man. Mr. Armani Cut, man. I'm back with a banger. Look. Self therapy talk. Pop! We ain't do one of these in months, bro. Before, after, before and after the supper thought, we ain't do one in months. As y'all see, man, I'm in a whole new stage of my life. We getting tension on the channel. We getting way more views than we ever get before. But I want more for myself. I know a lot of people might describe, might describe me already, might already label me, because I see I've been losing. Like some people unfollow me on YouTube. Some people unfollow me on Instagram. Hey, listen, bro. I am who I am, and I can't change that. You feel me? You don't got to watch this video. You don't got to watch me to understand me. You probably don't watch me at all. But one day you will see this because this will be pushed by a real Omar gang. I am who I am. I can't change that. Like how you are who you are. You can't judge nobody because of who they is, bro. Me, bro, I'm just a raw, authentic person. I won't come on here and fake or tell y'all something that's not real. You feel me? Yes, yeah, a lot of things that be said in my videos and all type of stuff. But I always, I always bought, uh, blurt that out for y'all. I don't never want to disrespect or make anybody feel disrespected on my channel. If you still somehow feel disrespected because you know what's said, but I did blurt it out, that's a personal problem, bro. And I'm not here to knock anybody. You don't gotta follow me. You don't gotta like me. You don't gotta, you don't gotta care about me, bro. It's all about you at the end of the day. I'm just me. I'm being a real human being. I'm being real to myself. And I, and I drop real content. I drop real, like, authentic, real stuff. I never asked none of my homeboys, none of my brothers, none of my, my, not my, none of, not one of my parents, not one of my uh, other parents, 
to, to say anything or do anything for YouTube, and I never will. I ask people, can y'all participate in certain videos? But that's different. I'm not asking them. I'm not. Act, I'm not asking them to act how they act. That's what a lot of people got wrong at. And you could dislike me for that, but everything in my videos is real. Every little thing. Every from the beginning until I cut that camera off for good for that video is real. And I put that on my uncle. If I'm lying, God will strike me down right now. You feel me? I just want to let y'all know. We haven't had a chance to sit down and talk. My little mud bangs, I be trying to talk, trying to tell y'all little stuff here and there. So I keep motivating y'all, keep pushing, keep pushing. My brother just dropped a video. He was talking about uh, why he should quit and all this stuff. And then, and he was just, he making very good points. So like people drop, some people drop like two videos a year and get millions of views or get thousands of views. And then you get thousands of subscribers while people like me and him work our ass off to do everything we can. To make y'all bring y'all good content, bring y'all some of the best content, some funny content. However, y'all look at our content, we're pulling some type of viewers. So we're doing something right. You feel me? That's all I'm saying, period. And he was like, why can I why can why should I continue going if people that don't do nothing? People that drop video one video a year, get thousands of views. And we gotta drop an equation of like 15 videos to get that get that amount of views. You know what I'm saying? I failed him on that. But we had we sat down and talk about it a little bit. We already talked about that. We talked about some other personal stuff that I'm not gonna bring to the YouTube because it's not relevant. But I'm about to get a little bit more on it. This is the time. Self-therapy. Self-therapy too, Davy and Omar. You know what I'm saying? I do it only with me, personally me. If I ever bring somebody on there, it has to be family or somebody close to me. Cause when I get to these deep talks, I'm telling y'all some some stuff I go through and stuff y'all don't see. That's that be uh happening on camera and off camera. Which I don't understand. We work hard. I don't just do YouTube. I know I know uh all y'all don't know that, so I'm not gonna be described discreasing and whatever. I'm not gonna be on people's ass, basically. I do other stuff besides YouTube. I, uh, I work. I work out. I clean, take care of myself. Look at me. Do I look like a nigga that don't take care of yourself? You know what I'm saying? Just be hunting with yourself. I take care of myself. Uh, you know, we working on getting a group house uh, for better content. And just because we could all have somewhere to stay and, you know, we can stay in the loop. We plan on getting a group house. I'm about to, uh, I'm about to get my vehicle. So, obviously, when these big transactions, these big, uh, these these big things I got in motion, goes goes into motion, like we doing it, like we got the house, we got the cars, content gonna be twenty times better. Y'all think content good now, or y'all think content decent now, or y'all think content is like, oh, it's alright right now. However y'all feel about it, I don't care. I'm not gonna be personally mad or anything. I understand. That certain videos I could have did better. I do go back and look at some of my videos. Like I could have, I could have worked a little harder on this. We could have actually did something else. Side of this, we could have made the video longer. We could have did this and all that. But when I get all these little things in motion, the videos, the content gonna be way better. It's gonna be way more lit. You know, it's already kind of lit right now. You know, I've been dropping uh, uh, boys nights or whatever with my other homeboys. Um, uh, uh, other homeboys. Uh. Be dropping boys nights with my other homeboys recently. My other ones, I'm gonna link back with them soon. You know, we're gonna get something going. I told myself, well, I want to go out this time, though. I don't want to be in the crib because we stay in the house. We stay in the house when, we, when I be with them. The other ones, you know, I'm chilling a little bit. We link it up, we link it back up at my house. So, yeah, that's all I've been dropping recently. And I could tell people be getting offended because look, that little phase I'm dropping all them videos. I've been losing subscribers. So people was getting offended about what we're doing and what we're saying. I don't know who it is and I don't got no, I won't, I don't want to find out basically. Cause you keep that same energy, bro. Cause you, when you see uh, our growth in our content, like 
People want to come back, oh, bro, I've been uh, rocking with you since you had 200, since you had 100, bro. I've been rocking with you, bro. I've been fucking with you, this and that. And I might be the nigga that unsubscribe, but just keep checking on your channel, making sure is you growing or is you getting better and this and that. Stay away from them niggas like that, bro. Because they didn't fuck with you when you first was on the come up. But when you when you made it, oh, them niggas swear they watched all your videos. They swear they show love on your videos. They swear they all that. You feel me? Look out for niggas like that, bro. And I know people get offended by the videos we're doing because we're just too raw. Like, even for camera. And I be sometimes I be thinking while I watching the thing, I'll be like, bro, I don't think some of this shit supposed to be on YouTube, but I'm gonna try to mute it, mute, you know, block beep some of this shit out and all this other. It's crazy, bro. Like, you know, it's just too raw. Like, I know content supposed to be raw. That's why people love it. They love real content. But this shit was like too, too raw. Like, real life. And I admit it. It was too raw. Like, I don't think nobody. Nobody that's got a soft spot, like, that's really, really soft can't handle it. And that's probably who them people was that unsubscribed. They couldn't handle it. The pressure, they couldn't handle, you know, you know, the raw shit. Because I make real content. I don't make no fake shit. I don't, I don't put no fake in any videos at all. If I fake a video and it blows up, I'm going to tell y'all, like, that shit fake as shit. Like, you know, I'm going to be honey with y'all. Y'all my niggas. I'm not going to fake it. Y'all my niggas, bro. Y'all ask me, like, hey, Davian, bro. Is this video right here real? Like when the person pop out the cut in his drawers and the, and the mascot on? I'm like, nah, that shit fake as shit. <laughs> I'm going to keep it a thousand with y'all. That's what a lot of niggas won't do. And I don't know why niggas will f lie about it. It's fake. It's fake. So what? You know? Like, it's people out here that, that fake videos all the time. But me, I don't. I, I'm just saying, like, I never thought of it making a fake video. Feel me? But self therapy though, self therapy too. This is like you know addressing a lot of shit y'all know about because it's mostly internet shit y'all know about. You know, y'all don't know me personally, like uh, real life and shit. People do watch me. People in real life that I'm uh I'm close with do watch some of my videos. I might also say they watch all my. I'm not gonna hype myself like that. I don't think they watch all my videos, but they watch some of my videos and all that other shit. But yeah, basically, bro, growth as a man. You we was as men, we were we were born and we're the only creatures on the earth born with the attitude to ignore ignorance and haters and like hatred, my nigga. I gotta be strong, not only for me, but for the family and for my my peoples, bro. That depend on me to drop these videos. Cause there's niggas out here that don't want me to drop shit. They hate on me. Strike my videos out. Like they've been taking a few of my videos down and all type of shit. That's why stuff I didn't tell y'all. Stuff I didn't tell y'all. But I, what I kept doing, I kept pushing, bro. Because I understand when it comes to a time where we blow up. And I feel it. My God, I feel like it's, it's real fucking soon. We finna blow up. And I'm telling y'all niggas. They're going to be trying to take down a lot of these videos. A lot of these. Some of your favorites, my nigga. They trying to take some of this shit down. I'm starting to see it already. They they taking down, they're not striking me, but they taking some of my videos down. Like old videos, videos I made three years ago, my nigga. Three years ago, keep in mind. I went serious on YouTube in 2022. Three years ago, nigga, that's 2020. 2019, 22. No, not 2019, but 2020. I've been doing YouTube for three years. I've only been taking this serious for two. You gotta keep in mind, bro. When it comes to content creators like me that do real shit and speak his mind, we're not safe on these type of apps. It's certain stuff I can't say and certain stuff I can't say. But when it comes to like uh rumble and kick, when we start doing that, you know, which I will real soon. I'm like, I'm, I'm saving up to get my PC. I will real soon. All right, I'll be in there like, uh, give me like five minutes. All right. So like, uh, when it comes to like apps like that, where you could say the N word, uh, hard R N word, like, I had to blurt that. I got my, I blurt that out. But yeah, like we say words like that and all type of stuff like that. You allowed to say that on those type of apps, but y'all gotta understand this thing. When we get to that point. 
it's a lot of people that's not going to like me. It's not a, it's a lot of people that's going to hate on me. It's a lot of people that's going to love me. So what I need y'all for Omar Gang, y'all for be there for me, bro. Like, it's going to be a tough time, bro. It's no such thing as being real no more. You got to have a little bit of feminine in you, and that's one thing I don't have. I never just sit around and think to myself, oh, I'm about to do some crazy stuff to a dude. No, bro. I don't got that in my blood. Just because I don't act like that, or I ain't, I might say some stuff that's off the wall on the camera and all that, but I don't mean it in the way y'all thinking. You know what I'm saying? I mean it like it's some a regular way. I just because I don't got that in my blood, bro, that I'm not I'm not a uh, sugar hill dude or whatever, a uh, sweet sweet lip, whatever y'all call them nowadays. I really don't care. I'm I'm gonna be a target, bro. I'm already knowing this. Like, this is nothing new to me, bro. I see how people, I'm not saying they act like me, but people that's masculine, that take care of themselves. Bro, names. Andrew Tate. Uh, Sneeko. Uh, millions of cats. There's thousands of people. I'm not just naming them just like famous. I'm just thinking because, like, they don't make content like me. But, like, they 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 preach the message that I'm trying to preach to y'all. Like, for real, bro. As a man, there's certain stuff you're supposed to do. If you take care of your kids, there's nothing you should worry about at all. Like you take care of your kids, you take care of your your uh your people's period, it's nothing for you to worry about. So I don't worry about nothing else. You doing your part, bro. Period. That's how I see it, bro. Self-therapy, like certain things you're supposed to take. Certain things you're not supposed to give a fuck about. Because a lot of things people going to say to you, and you're not supposed to, you're supposed to have that image like, this shit don't get to me. This shit don't fuck with me, but it fucks with you. So I'm going to just keep on messing with you. That's how they see it. A lot of guys nowadays, is real, it's real feminine. You could say one word to them, and you probably didn't even mean it in that way. They get all raspy. They trying to yell. They trying to yell at each other. They trying to fight each other and all type of stuff. Don't be like that, bro. Y'all take care of yourself. I said that I told to my niggas. It's because, bro, I got love for y'all. I actually got love for y'all. I don't really care about none of this show. You get paid off of YouTube stuff. I'm gonna be making money outside of YouTube. I just wanna make sure y'all good, and I wanna give y'all. I wanna give y'all the best entertainment I deserve. You know, I'm just trying to uh, come up with the best videos. I got videos that I never thought I would do coming. And Subathon Two is coming soon, real soon, cause we need to hit this 500 to a thousand mark. That's my next goal. We getting in 100 subs the last subathon. But this next subathon, I'm trying to gain. Like, we at, what we at? 220, 224, 225? We need at least 500, 1,000. I might not even stop until we get that mark. And I'm being serious. I don't care how tired I am. I don't care how much content I had to make. I don't care if I got to make three videos a day. We back on that time. Hey, man. Hey, man. Mr. Armada come in. God! God! Hey, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Love y'all to death. I hope y'all enjoy them little clips I put in the front or the back, middle, whatever. I'm gone. Oh.